what's going on YouTube back once again in the shed and I welcome you to another review thank you for joining me hmm lovely day today been uh relaxing everybody's gone out I had the place to myself my boy and that's just come home actually so you might hear a bit of screaming and shouting <laughs> but what can you do Parts of the joys of being a dad, in it. Um, yeah, I'll get on with a review. There's not a lot to say, really, apart from I'm smoking my low pipe. All it says on it is Lon made in London 101, but the 101 is upside down, so it just looks like low to me. <laughs> so, there you go, it's my low pipe. I was showing this, this is my Tampa. Anyone's interested. It's a little bit of roe deer um antler pushed into a bullet cakes in. Cool, isn't it? Does the job. I like little funny things like that. Um yeah, so let's get on with the snuff. And today we are doing Railroad Mills Checkerberry. Yeah, an American snuff. Been quite looking forward to this one, but not for the reasons you would have thought. Because I never actually looked up what Checkerberry was. So I thought it was going to be like a nice sweet berry snuff. Turns out it isn't. Turns out Checkerberry is another name for. Wintergreen. <laughs> well, I said a little bit about this before in one of my earlier videos, but I don't think it's got that many views. So I'll say it again. They reckon that, you know, the, the UK and America react differently to wintergreen. And they reckon the reason for it is, is because in America they have wintergreen in things like sweets and chewing gum and bubble gum and it's in dips and tobacco and snoops and, you know, you're, you're very accustomed to wintergreen. I'm not saying all UK people are like this, but me, take for example, I'm 40 years old and I've never come across a wintergreen sweet a wintergreen deodorant, a wintergreen nothing. I'd never come across it. Bubble gum, don't have a clue what it tastes like. That's why I'm looking forward to trying that grizzly wintergreen um, dip because I don't know what wintergreen tastes like. But the only wintergreen I've ever come across is deep heat, which is like a medicated gel that you rub into your joints and that and it warms you up i don't know if you have it in america or whether you call it a different name but over here it's known as deep heat and uh i um yeah that was what i was saying apparently the english don't tend to like winter green as much and the reasoning for it is is i think it was either in world war one or world war two they, um, around that time, they was using a lot of wintergreen in medicines and medical situations. So when the British smell wintergreen, they tend to associate it mentally with medication and sickness and, you know, like something that you don't really want to take. Whereas... In America, they associate it with, you know, sweets and, and you know, it's just a run-of-the-mill flavouring. And um, when I first tried the wintergreen uh, winter green snuff, I, I hated it. I couldn't get my head around it because it just kept smelling so medical and, and um, like, yeah, like medicated and chemically and can get on with it but i've slowly come round i had that 
I think it was by six photos, Karma and Seducha, Seducha, Se Karma and Seducha. That had wintergreen in it, and that was a wintergreen menthol, and I didn't mind that. I actually quite liked it, used it quite a lot. So when I come across this, I wasn't so scared, I was more interested. So, you know, as usual, you got the old American tubs. They used to be cardboard, but now they're plastic. It's made by Swisher. Was railway rail, railroad mills, but I think Swisher um, acquired the rights to it. So I think it's about time we crack her open and see what she's saying, shall we? If you can get into it all, right. It's a darker, darker snuff. And that's unusual for all the American snuffs I've tried. The only one that was like this was um, the McAvoy Rose Scented Snuff was like this. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's it's got a real sort of darkish chocolate, choc chocolatey coffee brown it's got more of a mediumish grind and it's got like i don't know medium to you know medium moisture but it's quite you know it clumps together nice and you know when you open it you get winter green straight away so jumping onto the tin note and it's winter green But, as I say, normally when I smell wintergreen, it does smell a bit medicated to me. But this one smells a little sweeter. But that's all you're getting. Wintergreen for days. So, let's jump in and see what she says up the nose. <laughs> Now you get a nice burn off in it. Yeah. All over me nose now. Yeah, it's got a real nice burn to it. But I like a burn, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, straight away you get winter green. But the winter green is sweet. It's got that sort of herbally scent to it, and it does still smell a little medicated to me, but it's got a real sort of sweetness to it, which kind of rounds it off and makes it more pleasant to, to my senses, you know? I was quite surprised when I first tried this one on how much I actually liked it. And it hangs about a good while as well. It's not like you bump it, smell it, and it's gone. It's got a bit of a cooling sensation in the nose. But I wouldn't say it's like, you know, meant for. I think somewhere I read that wintergreen is sort of part of the mint family. So it's got a kind of cooling sensation, but it's not, like I said, it's not meant for. It's not mint. It's just got that sort of feeling in the nose. It's really easy to take. You know, it's one of them I can bang it up my nose. And it's nice enough to bang up your nose. It's not too heavy, it doesn't clog your nose up, but you will get a bit of back drip off it. And the back drip, it tastes alright. It's alright, but it's a little bit like. It can make me want to sort of <clears throat> clear my throat a little bit. I'm not getting the back drip yet, but when it comes, it does tend to sort of irritate the back of my throat a little bit. Um, it's quite high nicotine as well, but that's, you know, you come to expect that, I think, from most American stuffs. They 
do tend to have a bit of an American, uh, American, a bit, the American stuff tend to have a bit of a kick of nicotine. Um, yeah, I like it. I don't think there's anything else I can really say about it. You know, it's got a little bit of a cooling sensation, but it's just wintergreen for days. I can't really honestly say I can pick up any tobacco. No, I can't. It's just wintergreen. But that's not a bad thing. In my opinion. It's, uh, you know, quite clean, not cloggy. And it's got a nice rounded, sweet wintergreen, which I think makes it a little bit better than the wintergreens that I've had in the past. All my experience of wintergreen, so. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's quite good, so I think... reviews then I can't remember which where it goes oh solid we'll go with that feels more natural so um yeah I'm gonna recommend it I think it's quite a good one um yeah it says dry snuff on it but I wouldn't call this a dry snuff. It's quite nice. It's got a nice bit of moisture in it. And wintergreen. I don't know. There's, there's not a lot else I can say to it. I think it's quite good. And if you can get your hands on it. I mean, to be honest, I thought it was discontinued until I'd seen it pop up in the store. And I was like, oh, bang. I want to try that. Um, so, you know, maybe it's not discontinued. Maybe it's old stock. I can tell you, but if you want to grab it and have a go, have a go. I think it's well worth it. If you like wintergreen, then you're going to like it. Because that's all it's got, really, is wintergreen and nicotine. But, yeah, that's good. It's good enough for me. And I think I'm going to end up caning this tub off. And normally, them bigger tubs, they sit around a bit because I'm doing so many different snuffs. But... I've caned into this one quite a bit already. <laughs> so that says a lot. It's pretty good. So I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to wrap it on. So let's go with a remember to tap, pinch and to. And that's because there's three ingredients to your enjoyment. And your enjoyment is all I've got for you. So remember to come back to the shed. And until then, I shall bid you farewell.